Hey everybody, welcome back. Dan Warpaint JKU. So I'm going to very, very quickly and very inexpensively show you guys how to make your own paracord grab handles. They're really, really awesome. Let's check out where you might want to put them on your rig. People like to put um, the uh, the grab handles up here by making two smaller loops and then connecting them with a larger piece so that they can grab and pull themselves in. I didn't do that on here because I have this uh, and it's pretty easy for me. I'm also I'm also like six four, so I don't really need them to get in. But my kids definitely do. So right here, right? I made grab handles uh, and the cool thing about these is you can kind of kind of make them in any color that you want uh, but they basically just mount with loops on the ends through the posts that hold your headrest in gives my kids a good spot to grab and pull themselves up into the back of the jeep uh, being on one tons and 40s and all that kind of stuff it's a big step so it definitely helps and it's really nice now here's the other place people like to put them is actually up here in the speaker bar. You can make ones with those same loops that basically just, you take this screw out um, and you put the screw through the loop on the end, screw it in, do the same thing over here, and then you have another handle at the top on your speaker bar, which will also help people climb in. All right, for this video, we're actually gonna be in my house. We're up in my game room where my kids hang out. You can obviously see the mess. But anyway, so we're basically just going to need, you know, some form of a lighter. Uh, candle makes it pretty easy. You don't need a candle if you have the lighter, but I like to use both. You're going to need your paracord. Um, you don't necessarily need three colors, but I'll show you why I'm going to use three in just a second. You definitely need a tape measure. You need a pair of scissors. Um, and other than that, I did make a little loop of paracord here with a couple carabiners on it because then I'm able to basically take these and uh, kind of loop it around like a table leg or something and pull it nice and straight so that I can actually uh, wrap it and weave it together and uh, makes it a lot easier. But the first thing you're gonna need to do is figure out what your base color is gonna be on your grab handle. So when I say base color, if you get real close and you actually look at this grab handle, you can kind of see through the red here that there's some silver behind it right? And then that's the color of the loops on the end. Now you are going to see that through it, okay? It's a little bit tougher to see through it, um, but you can definitely see it. So a uh, real common base color is black because it just kind of disappears. If you use a color like white, it's going to pop, right? So, you know, depending upon what you want to do for your rig and your color scheme or whatever colors you like, that may be what you want to go with. So my base color is going to be silver and I'm gonna to need to measure out and cut a four foot piece of that silver paracord. Now guys, I know four feet uh, sounds like a lot when you're only making a, a grab handle that's about a foot long. Uh, that tends to be about the standard, um, but you'll see why in just a second. I do make it a tiny bit longer than four feet, but that's gonna be the length you're gonna want if you're gonna make your grab handle a total of a foot long. Now, after you cut it, you're going to notice that the cord actually is going to come through the end of your paracord like this. You're just going to want to cut that off. Once you're done with that, the candle comes into play. So let's get to it. Now, Once you have your four foot piece and your ends are cut, you're going to want to melt them by sticking them in there in that in those flames. And uh, once they get good and hot, you can kind of melt them and touch them together. And as they cool, because it's kind of nylon based, be careful because it is very hot, but as they cool, they'll kind of glue themselves together and you'll have basically a four foot uh, piece that now is two feet long as a loop. But now we're basically on to the colors that we need for the rest of our grab handle. Um, mine, I want the inside to be this red and black pattern color and the outside to be black. So at this point, we're going to have to measure out 
Uh, again, if you're doing one about a foot long, which we are, you're going to want to probably make about 12 to 13 feet. Uh, so you're going to need, you know, if you do 12 feet, right, you need six of each color. Now I'll also say that when you're buying paracord, make sure it's actually 550 cord and make sure it's decent quality. Some of the cheaper paracord that's not actually 550 cord, that's the weight rating, um, it's not as nicely made and put together. It doesn't melt as nicely and it doesn't, it doesn't weave as nicely when you get down to it. But I'm gonna get to measuring and cutting those and you'll see what the next step is when I'm done. All right, and just like we did with our base cord, you're going to want to melt the two ends together. So, again, these are going to be the uh, these are going to be the two colors. You're just going to touch one end of one color to the other end of the other color. Make sure it dries nicely. Kind of smooth it out a little bit. Be careful again because it does get hot. We're actually going to feed it through the carabiner and back over itself so that now it's one foot long, okay? Because it's quadrupled onto itself, right? And of course, we got a cat over there now that we're playing with paracord, she's all about it. But anyway, now that we have our one foot loop, now you are gonna wanna make sure that this part where you burned it together and melted it together is somewhere in the middle. You don't want it on each end. It'll be stronger that way. It won't pull apart as easily. And uh, it'll also get hidden while we're weaving it together. Time to start making our uh, first little weave here. Now, the way you're going to do this is to basically take the string that you had melted together, take your two colors, put it behind the base material, okay? Just kind of lay it on the floor. Now, the color you want to actually be on the center that crosses back and forth over the base material, um, that's going to be the color you're going to start with. Let's get a cat out of the way. All right. So basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna take that burn part that we melted together, put it behind our base material. Then the color we want, which in this is our red, right? We're gonna basically take it and kinda cross it over the top and make a loop, all right? So now that it's super long, let's pull it all across. Okay, so we made that loop, right? So we started behind, the loop came over the top. Now what you're gonna do with the other side is you're gonna go over the red that you just pulled over the top, and then you're gonna go through the loop and grab it, okay? So over the red, through the loop, grab it, and then you're just gonna kinda of pull it tight. Now here, because it's the first one we did, we kinda of have to play with it and make sure we keep that spot we melted together behind. And what we're also going to do is make sure that we leave us enough of a enough of a loop at the end to be able to fit over either those screws or you know your your seat posts anything like that cuz this is what you're going to use at the end to attach it and also guys the tighter you pull it the more stiff your grab handle is going to be like this grab handle when i let go of one side it's pretty stiff because i pulled it really super tight if you pull it a little looser which i'll do here and i'll show you the end product uh it, it it's much more flexible than something like this okay now, again you're going to do the same thing you're going to take your color which is now on the other side you're going to cross it over okay kind of make that loop up top take the piece that you want to be on the edges bring it over that loop cross it underneath and pull it through the other side and then pull it right and then again take your color cross it over take your other piece over that underneath your base and through the loop that you just made and pull it and that's it guys right you're just going to keep doing that and this goes really, really quickly. And the cool thing about doing this yourself is that if you went online and actually bought quality paracord uh, grab handles from somebody on the internet, I mean, you can spend 60 bucks a pair. This stuff is like a few hundred feet of grab of paracord. It's like eight bucks, okay? Uh, you have candles in your house, you have a tape measure in your house, things like that. And, uh, Guys, it, it, it goes real quick once you get used to it. And you know, it's almost brainless, right? You don't really have to think about it anymore. All right, so we're kind of getting to the end here, 
right? We're starting to run out of space. So going to maybe give it a couple more of these. I'll show you guys how you would finish it up to make it, to make it look, you know, look nice and finished. We're basically left with some extra material at the ends. Obviously, I didn't cut these ends off because I didn't have to do anything with them and I knew at the end we would be uh, removing it. But let's get to that. We're gonna take it off the carabiners here and we'll finish it up. So, we're just gonna leave a little material on the end of this guy here. Gonna do the same thing on the other side. All right, so that you basically have these two little nubs sticking out. All we're gonna do now is basically use our lighter. We're gonna melt that, and then you wanna use something uh, to kind of push it down and, and kind of connect it to the rest of the paracord. I like to use, you know, maybe the side of the tape measure that I was using before. Once it gets good and hot, we're gonna take, you know, just a piece of metal. I got like an old magnet or something. I don't even know what this is from. Kind of push it. Kind of push it in and melt it. Do the same thing on the other side. And right, once it's good and hot, kind of push it on there. And, uh, and there we go, right? You can kind of see how it melted in there. But because the paracord here is, you know, some darker colors and stuff, it kind of blends in, right? You don't really see that. If this paracord was white, that wouldn't look the prettiest. So you just kind of want to want to think about what you're doing. But but there you go, guys. All right. So here we are. Um, clearly, this one is woven. Uh, this one's woven a little tighter. I pulled on them a little harder. This one's a little looser. It's going to make it a lot nicer in your hand to hold on to than something like this. But obviously, you can tell that the two of them are uh, one's real tight, one's real loose. You can use these loops here with like small little D rings. They sell them on Amazon, sell them at Home Depot, places like that. Uh, there's lots of different ways to connect these. A lot of people use these. They make uh, you know dog collars. Uh, all different kinds of things. If you are going to use this as a dog collar, though, I would be careful with how you connect it, right? Maybe use a breakaway connector so that your dog can't get it stuck on something and hurt themselves. But, um, but pretty cool, real cheap, real easy way. And obviously, with all this paracord left, I can make a bunch more of these for, I don't know, probably less than 30 bucks worth of paracord. And right here, we have a pair of them. It didn't take me any time at all, probably about five minutes to actually weave this um and uh there you go but anyway guys hope you enjoyed this video check out the channel there's a lot of other stuff a lot of builds everything you know from from stuff like this to uh you know how to re-gear your axle so make sure you subscribe and check it out